On behalf of uh, your Board of Trustees, I want to welcome you all to our Macomb as we engage in this most significant of rituals, Teshuva, returning to those ideals and relationships that are most important to us. We're glad that you've joined us, either in person or on our live stream, and I hope each of, you ex each of your experiences has been and continues to be meaningful. Rabbi Joel taught last week about the power of words and challenged each of us to think about one word as a focus for what we might want to achieve in the new year. Mine is kavana, or intention. I want, my, I want more of my actions to be intentional rather than reaction or from force of habit. And I trust that along with my family and closest friends, my TBE community might help me to achieve that. A very important word for TBE this past year has been hazon, the strategic planning initi initiative we introduced at this time last year. Hazon is a first step in creating a plan to help guide our congregation into the future. Our most important priority from the get-go was to make hazon in the TBE way a most inclusive process, touching as many people as possible. I think we succeeded at that. About 750 of you participated in a series of conversations over a meal in a friend's home, here at TBE, and electronically. We talked to congregants of all ages, our clergy, our professional staff, and educators. And in those conversations, we asked open-ended questions and had far-ranging conversations about what connects us to Judaism, our engagement with TBE, and what we seek from that connection. Here's a little bit, or here's the bulk of what we gleaned from those conversations. As Rabbi Joel described last week, we see comfort and care as an essential element of our connection to Judaism. Not just the care that we all need at difficult times in life, but also the sharing of joyful moments. And importantly, we see comfort and care as gifts we bring, not just to each other, but in acts of tikkun olam, that we share beyond our immediate community. There's a strong sense that this is something we do incredibly well at TBE. We take pride in saying we are a caring community. Still, because it's so central to our TBE-ness, we need to continually challenge ourselves to do better. We also have a heartfelt desire for connecting across generations, passing on our tradition, Lador Vador, is a mitzvah we feel and model every day. Yet there's still a desire for even more opportunity to connect people of different ages and different life stages to share wisdom and experience, and sometimes even very practical things like career advice. We love connecting with fellow Jews around town, in our travels, around the world, and of course in Israel. We are sophisticated tribe members, always thirsting to meet and get to know each other's stories. It's no accident that our hour of response is such a cherished part of the high holidays here at TBE. Many of us spoke of wishing to continually learn the values, ideas, and teachings of our tradition that can guide our daily lives as we make choices and navigate life's challenges. We want to learn from our clergy, in classrooms, through prayer and our many activities, and importantly, from each other. There's also a strong sense that through our connection to Judaism, we seek to learn and practice how to hear, honor, and value multiple views and conflicting opinions. We live in a time with plenty of conflict and great divides, but there's a strong conviction that through our tradition and within our community, we want that conversation to be guided, guided by emet and chesed, to be honest and at the same time to do so with care and loving kindness. Having spent many hours listening and reading notes and the results of these conversations, we believe the meta-learning for us is about community. All of these areas of connection to Judaism, while intensely personal, are much more rewarding as part of a community and in many cases are only possible with help from each other. At TBE, we care deeply about community. 
and for many, it's the thing that most binds us together. At the same time, community can be complicated, and some of us have a harder time navigating our big and multifaceted congregation. We want to engage, but it isn't always obvious how, and sometimes it may not even seem to be the right time to do so. We know we have work to do, continually relearning and perfecting how we foster the connections to Judaism that are so important to us in the right way and at the right time. As we enter the new year, the Hazon Initiative, now chaired by Marnie Allen and Karen Taub, will focus in three distinct but very interdependent areas. First, continuing to learn, improve, and enhance the way we support our individual and collective connections to Judaism in the areas that I described and no doubt in others that will surface as we continue this conversation. Second, continuing to explore and evolve our model of community and engagement for a 21st century congregation. And third, continue building a sustainable community, one that's built to last and will be vibrant for many, many years to come. This means we have to build on, a, build on and improve our solid financial model and do a better job enabling a broader understanding of where our money comes from and where our money goes in our congregation. We need to improve our technology infrastructure. And for our congregants, as well as for our amazing clergy and professionals and staff who make TBE their life's work, we need to make sure that we nurture the culture that makes people love being here. Some of this work is already underway. Carolyn Coleman, our VP of Caring Community, and Julie Kreis, our VP of Tikkun Olam, have recruited a team of volunteers and are beginning to reimagine ways in which we can build on our strengths and enhance how we bring comfort and care to each other and to our world. Progress is also underway on the technology infrastructure front. If you haven't already, check out the recent improvements to our website. We've also begun to modernize our infrastructure, moving, some ser moving our servers to the cloud, and improving basics like more reliable Wi-Fi in the building. This is only the beginning, as board members Craig Berkson, Bob Stearns, and Liz Sunaby have been working with Judy Cannon and staff members to build a roadmap to the 21st century infrastructure. We need to support our information requirements, as well as our audiovisual capabilities, so that when we're all together in the room or streaming services and life events from around the world, the experience is much richer, complete, and more reliable. Lastly, I want to say a few words about our model of community, which has always been a unique strength of ours. Like any living organism, it evolves and it brings challenges we need to address. We're bigger and more complex than we once were, and the way we have to communicate and engage has to address that reality. We're more diverse than ever, yet another great source of strength, but it also brings challenges. Our congregants in 5779 have differing and evolving life circumstances, and those things have a huge effect on how they wish to and are able to connect with TBE. We don't know all the answers to what a 21st century community model looks like. We know we can do a better job on technology front, and we're working hard on the communications front. We also know that the secret sauce of TBE will always be the kind of member engagement where each of us brings our own special gifts and where we always recognize that our community itself is our most unique strength. Because we're a congregation of learners, this part of the conversation I'm sure will continue and we'll keep getting better. I hope you'll take part in this conversation. If there are aspects of the discussion that you want to contribute to, please step up and help us move it forward. I urge you to bring your own special gift, whatever it may be, to be part of this exciting, ongoing community opportunity. I want to take a moment uh, to express our deep, deep gratitude to everyone involved in making these high holiday services so beautiful and meaningful. It really does take a village to pull this off. Our administrative staff, our custodians, our educators, clergy, musicians, choir members, as well as the many volunteer ushers and greeters and chair movers have been hard at work preparing, in many cases, for a good part of the summer. I can't thank everybody individually who has helped make these holidays possible 
and rich and meaningful and challenging. So please help out. And as you come and go during the rest of the day, find somebody who's made this kind of contribution and say thank you and give them a hug. Rabbi Sachs, the former chief rabbi of the United Hebrew Congregations of the Commonwealth, that's the United Kingdom, not Massachusetts, <laughs> wrote, our thoughts and feelings belong to the I, but much of our existence depends on being part of a we. Despite its unprecedented estimate of the individual, Judaism is at the same time an irreducibly communal faith. There is no I without we. That is certainly the truth for us at TBE. And whatever your word is for the coming year, your TBE, your TBE community is here to help. Susan and I wish that each of you may be inscribed and sealed in the book of life for a good year. Shana Tovah.